What's up ladies and gentlemen, Wolfcryer here and welcome to another Diablo 3 Basics video. My video series that tries to enlighten newcomers, returning players, and veterans alike. And this video is going to be all about Key Wardens, Uber Bosses, and the Hellfire Amulet. Now a few builds in Diablo 3 utilize the Hellfire Amulet, which is not a world drop, and can only be obtained in a certain way, and that is by killing Uber Bosses for ingredients used in the Hellfire Amulet recipe. So this video is going to go ahead and show you exactly how to obtain a Hellfire Amulet. First up, you're going to start off by hunting down Key Wardens in Acts 1 through 4. All have special mobs called Key Wardens. These can be found on the map for each act designated with a key symbol. In Act 1, we have Odeg, the Key Warden of Regret. And Act 2, we have Sokar, the Key Warden of Putridness. Act 3 has Zarith, the Key Warden of Terror. And Act 4 has Nekarat, the Key Warden of Fright. Once on these maps, you can see the location of the Key Warden by the highlighted purple arrow on your minimap. And now each of these Key Wardens has a chance to drop keys known as Infernal Machines, which are used to open up different Uber boss fights. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance of keys dropped and an increase in the amount that can be dropped. Up to a maximum of three Infernal Machines can be dropped on Torment 13. Now once you have your keys, you can get to the Uber boss fights by entering the Heretic Abode located in Tristram near Brother Malachi the Healer. After entering, you can click your Infernal Machines, which will then open up portals to the realms that hold the Uber boss fights. In the Realm of Regret is where you will find both the Skeleton King and Magda, and you will have to defeat both to get the special ingredients for your Hellfire Amulet. And you do have to complete all four of these boss fights in order to gain all the materials you need for this amulet. In the realm of putridness, you face Gom and Rakanoth, and in the realm of terror, that holds Siegebreaker and Zoltan Cool, which you have to fight simultaneously. And the final one, the realm of fright, you fight Uber Diablo, who also summons two of the other Uber bosses from the other realms as well. And that can vary on which two he summons. And just like the Key Wardens, the Torment difficulty determines how many of the ingredients you get from the drop at the end. So Torment 13, you can get up to three of each ingredient. Always best to try to get these done on Torment 13 just to save yourself a little bit of time and make sure that you have enough ingredients. Now once you've defeated all of these bosses, you can go ahead and purchase the Hellfire Amulet recipe from Squirt in Act 2, and this costs 5 million gold and needs to be learned by the jeweler in order to craft the amulet. Once he has learned it, you can go ahead and craft your Hellfire Amulets. Now the special thing about the Hellfire Amulets are the fact that they allow you to have a fifth passive which is especially useful for support type classes as well as a couple of other builds in Diablo 3. Since usually you are looking for specific stats and specific passive skills, you're going to want to craft more than one of these at a time. So my suggestion is just farm out the key wardens, get a bunch of keys, and then farm out the uber bosses so that you can craft like 10, 20, 30 of these at a time because not only do you need specific stats and passives, but these also have a chance to create ancient items as well as if you've completed your level 70 solo GR, they can become primal ancients. So hopefully this information is useful to somebody out there. Figured I'd get back to the whole Diablo 3 basics video, trying to get some more information out to the newcomers to this game making sure they have all the information they need. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to check out my video. I always greatly appreciate it. And you guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day. Peace.